Ibadan clash. I wept when I saw how our people were killed in mass in Ibadan. Hausa leader Usman Garuba cries out. A leader in the Hausa community in Ibadan, Usman Garuba, on Monday said many Hausa residents in the troubled Shasha area of Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, have left their businesses and fled to the north. Garuba, who is the Prime Minister of Hausa people in Oyo state, told Sahara reporters that many of the victims of Shasha violence could not withstand the pressure again. He said he wept when he saw the way people were killed and the hunger facing little children. Sahara reporters observed that there was heavy presence of security agencies in Shasha village on Monday. Sahara reporters recalled that the crisis started on Thursday following an argument that ensued between a pregnant Yoruba woman and an Hausa businessman, which led to the death of a Yoruba man. Following the development, many were killed while many houses were burnt, a development which rendered thousands of Hausa residents homeless. But Garuba on Monday said the over 5,000 people who sought refuge in the Hausa of Seriki Shasha had left the house for other parts of the state while others had returned to the north. Speaking with Sahara reporters, Garuba said it was not a good experience for us. I wept when I saw the way our people were killed. Many of the children were sleeping on the floor. Some were crying for food. As we speak, we are trying to see how to solve the problem. He further noted the Hausa community was contributing money to cure for the victim of the crisis, saying, we are now broke. Since Thursday, we have been contributing money to feed and care for the victims. <coughs> Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohamed Adamu, has ordered the immediate deployment of police intervention and stabilization for forces to Oyo State to reclaim the public space reinforce security and bolster public confidence in the areas affected by a recent crisis in the state. A statement by the first public relations officer, Frank Uba, indicated that the deployment consisting largely of intelligence and operational assets of the force include four units of the police mobile force, PMF, seasoned operatives from the force intelligence bureau and one operational surveillance police helicopter from the police air wing department the intervention force is charged with the responsibility of reinforcing and stabilizing security in the state preventing further breakdown of law and order protecting lives and properties and ultimately enhancing public safety and general security in the state. The intervention force is being coordinated by a Deputy Inspector General of Police, DIG David Folawio, who is expected to mobilize all relevant stakeholders towards achieving the mandate of the squad. The IGP assures that the force is committed to the safety of lives and properties of the citizen in the country. He calls on the citizens and residents of Oyo State and other Nigerians to embrace peace and cooperate with the police and security communities as they redouble their efforts in ensuring that sustainable peace and security are restored to the affected areas. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. My dear, you don't have to be you don't have to be shocked or you don't have to shed tears because these people were actually given an automaton. It's quite unfortunate. It's painful of a truth. I know. If I were the one, it would also pain me. But to me, I would advise 
that now that things like this has happened, to me the best thing to do is for them to just quietly, at least they have a home in the north. They have a home in the north. Let them go back to the north. Okay, from news I broadcasted earlier before now, it was reported that even those ex-men that left, uh, that left Oyo, instead of them to locate back to the north, they relocated straight to Quara, from Frypan to Fire. Now, Quara people have raised alarm now, saying that they don't want to see them in their environment. You can see. You can see. So nobody wants to see them. Nobody wants to meet them. Nobody wants to see them in their environment. Everyone is afraid. Everyone is afraid. Yes, I know that of a truth, there will be good ones in their midst. But the good ones have spoiled the name of the bad ones. They have spoiled the name of the bad ones. And it is very difficult for one to be able to fetch out the good ones. Very difficult. So how then do we know the ones that are good? How then? So that is why for them to be safe, that is why they are requesting that the headsmen should leave. You see that? So, um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, it's so pathetic anyway. So pathetic, but I think the the music is clear. Violence for, for, for peace to reign and for violence to be taken away. It is better they relocate. Okay, um listening to President Momo Bari speak today, I was so surprised. I was so surprised because then everybody was like, What's happening? The president is not saying anything. You know, all the why. Bari has been intervening, speaking on behalf of these um, headsmen. Yes, you know, he has been speaking on their behalf. He has been intervening on their behalf. He has been fighting for them. But this time around, I was so surprised. I was so surprised that Buhari couldn't intervene on their behalf. Instead of intervening on the behalf, Buhari gave a fresh order to the Inspector General of Police to fish out the hoodlums. To fish out the hoodlums. The hoodlums headsmen out to face the law. As if he knows. Because even he as a president, they are making a mess of his name. They are making a mess of his name. How can he a president who is also a Fulani eh, be making a mess of himself just because of, um, of the people that he is trying to, to, to support or to, to protect. And the people themselves don't know that he's trying to help them out. Eh? They don't do things that way. At least he has tried. The the X-Men on their own side they don't want to they don't they don't want to know. Instead they keep causing one problem or the other. Different problems. So what does you expect? Or what does you want him to do? So to me, the best thing is for them to leave. It's for them to leave. And let peace reign. You understand? So please, um, my viewers, based on this, what's your take? Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates.